I had planned that we we're going to talk about using Asana, which is a project management application that is completely free. Well, it's not, I mean, there's a paid version, but it's free um, to use, like, especially if you're just using it for yourself, like, to get started with your project managing. Um, and if, so, so just kind of giving an introduction about Asana and, like, this template that I give you. It's on my blog. Um, Google it, find it. I think it's really helpful. Um, you can go through, like, for each, for each client, and you can take out the stuff that doesn't apply to that client. Or if you know that this client is um, is going to be moving, then maybe you have a lot less, you have a lot less, you don't have like really have like a maintenance phase because they're moving away. I mean, for example, or like if they're moving in, then you're like, okay, well maybe we'll have a little bit of decluttering, but we're mainly going to be setting up and finding systems and that kind of thing. So so every client's going to be a little bit different, so you can customize it to your client. I was, I was going to try to show you guys this visually because every once in a while, I know, trust me, I know, I will talk about something on this Facebook Live and you guys will sometimes say like, oh, it would really help to see this visually because I'm more of a visual learner, a visual thinker. I completely understand that and I really, really wanted to like do something for you um, special tonight, but that didn't work out. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to talk a little bit tonight. I just want to tell you a few things about a sauna and I want to actually help you guys figure out whether or not that's something that you want to take the time to learn. Um, not that it's complicated and as I mentioned it is free but there are going to be some people who really like it and are going to want to take the time to dive into that tool and figure out everything that it can do and then other people are going to be like well that's kind of making me more overwhelmed and more anxious and end of the day like my goal with everything that I do for you guys is I'm trying to like simplify it and make it approachable like I don't want you to feel like it has to be perfect and you don't have to build this like picture perfect project management process it's just try saying that five times fast um, it's just that I want to tell you guys about a tool like if you guys like having like really detailed like like if you like having a list and then a sub list and then another sub list underneath that little item um, Asana is something that you will like and it'll help you kind of map things out so, so talking about Asana and talking about that client process template, here's what I want to tell you, and this would be the, the essence of what I wanted to show you if I was doing a screen share with you tonight, is you can copy and paste that template into Asana. It's literally, you copy it from the download that I give you and paste it into Asana. You can customize it, you can name it, you know, after your client, client Sally client Jane okay you can if you have six clients going at a time you would use that template for each one and then customize it for each one the beauty of Asana there's a couple different there's a couple different things you can do with Asana that you can't just do if you for example set up the same thing in Google Calendar um, with with your Asana template you can take um, you know each client would be like a separate project and you could customize each one um, you know for that client and go in this is the key this is the key you have to go in for each line of your template for the client process um, each one that you know about so far and set a due date for it um, so even if like you're not all the way through the project but you have the whole project outline but you know like the first third of it about what the date should be so you go through and you put your dates for it and you assign the task to yourself or you could assign it to somebody else on your team that's another thing um, that Asana allows you to do that you can't just do easily with Google Calendar like all in one place. Um, so you go through and assign it to the right person and you put a due date on it. Now so what will happen is is if you have six different clients and each one of them are at a different stage of your process, um, if you have gone through and taken the time to kind of map out like in general what you know um, for each client, then when you go to your calendar view in Asana then you can see on a certain day where you are with each one so it's like okay I don't have to be super overwhelmed because I want to like keep you guys from being overwhelmed so this is just one way of doing that it might not work for you but you might love it um, in order to keep from being super overwhelmed you go to your calendar view and you know you can look out not just today but for the rest of the week and kind of go okay so I've got I've got some client sessions that are kind of all happening at the same time so I might want to think about scheduling you know if I'm going to do some errands for these clients I might want to kind of schedule it here and if I know that I'm going to be going out and doing errands anyway like if I'm going to Costco because they got hangers and they got boxes blah 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 hey why don't I throw in like my family's errands too at the same time so it's kind of a way for you to visually see where you can batch tasks together um, which is really helpful and then if you see you have an, a whole empty day then you can go ahead and schedule yourself like an admin day or a marketing day you know time for you to get things done for your business so you're not 
left forgetting about those things. For anybody who is not aware about this, um, you know, I work completely like I sell packages of sessions rather than one session at a time. Um, going into why that's a good thing or what the benefits of that are is probably a whole separate topic. So one video you might want to Google on our YouTube channel would be how to package your services as a professional organizer. That's the title of the video. So you can see it in the list. Um, that might be helpful. So, so yes. So if I were, if I went on the consultation and I sold a package of eight sessions, then I would be able to kind of map out here's, uh, you know, based on the client, am I doing, maybe I'm doing once a week for about eight weeks. Maybe that's what the client and I have agreed to, or that's what she wants. So, um, so I can go into a sauna and, kind of just um, again it's customized on on what is going on with them like are they are they moving are we on a deadline um, or is it more of like a self-improvement like I just want to you know minimize more and have less clutter um, you can kind of go through and say okay we're going to be doing decluttering you know are we going to be kind of doing some um, um, setting up of systems um, and again all of this is a little, it's, it's always kind of tentative because, especially like my style of organizing, um, we, I'm very flexible, like if things change, because things do change even within the project, you know, like sometimes we start out by saying, okay, here's kind of our plan um, for what we want to get accomplished, but then in the middle of those eight sessions, the client suddenly is having company and she's like, uh, I still really, really want you to be here, but we need to kind of focus on something else rather than what I thought we needed to do, or all of a sudden she's feeling way more overwhelmed about her office than she was before and she's like can we just spend a day working on this and I'm like yes absolutely so kind of start out having a general plan but it's flexible you know things come up right so okay so so I talked a little bit about um, you know utilizing utilizing this client process like really making it work for you duplicating the, the template every single time you have a client and then you can customize it give yourself due dates assign it to certain you know assign it to yourself or assign it to your teammate or whoever you know your subcontractors if you're building your team um, and then you have this calendar view which is like ah oh, like okay now I have a visual sense of where I am with different people or where I might have a little bit more free time um, where I know that I'm gonna just need to like be totally ready to hit the ground running because I've got four clients back to back uh, like over these few days or whatever it helps you kind of see where things are um, Kathleen says okay good question she says do you include a template for your personal life so it coincides with the business calendar or are they two separate things that you use okay so Kathleen, I don't know if you're asking specifically about Asana. I do use Asana for personal projects. I'll give you an example. Um, I have been slowly working for uh, um, a few months, slowly, on helping my boyfriend, now fiance, um, update some things in his house. But I did not really get going on that project fully until, or I would not, I knew I was not gonna really get going on that project fully until, we got engaged and where it was like kind of more of a formal like hi will you work on my house with me so that you can move into it right so i've been i've been kind of every once in a while just kind of taking notes about things like okay so i know that here's all the things that have to happen first and then here's a group of things that have to happen second you know in order to make some updates to his um bachelor pad house so so in asana and this is why I've been keeping these notes because it's sort of, I know that it's a project, it's a project I haven't really been like working on um, like on a daily basis, but I kind of have been outlining, you know, here's some of the things that we know have to happen. Like the bathroom, like the, the shower was broken. So we knew we we're gonna do the shower, we're gonna do the bathroom first. Then the kitchen is gonna be a huge pain because he's living there. So we're like, let's get the kitchen done before we even think about me and my children moving in. Um, and then after that, it's like, okay, like, let's get the, the big stuff um, kind of kind of happening so that w by the time, whenever this is, that I move in, that, you know, we can just be working on small things and not, like, you know, painting and floors and stuff. So um, I'm not sure if that answers your question. Do I include a template for my personal life? No. Um, I, don't, I don't include a template for my personal life because, uh, or for you, like your personal projects, I guess because every project is a little bit different. I guess that's where I was, what I was getting at. But what I was getting at was Asana is like actually a great tool to use for that kind of thing, especially if you're like, okay, there's a lot of like dependencies or moving parts, or you're going to be waiting on certain people for certain things. And you're like, okay, what can I be doing to like ensure that things are moving along? So I really like it for that, but I don't keep like personal to-do lists in it. 
Um, that I more, you know, use like paper, like a paper planner, um, which has been really helpful for 